Hi, I'm Bob Jesperson with Hamilton Stands. I'm here at Full Compass today, and I'm going to talk about the KB7700 keyboard stand. This keyboard stand isn't just a keyboard stand. We also say that it works great for the DJ coffins, and I'll show you why. The one thing that you want to know about this stand, if you remember anything from this presentation, is that no matter what height the stand is standing at, the width remains the same. Yet, it looks very much like an X-Brace stand. But most X-Brace stands, in fact all X-Brace stands, in order to adjust the height, the, the X, the top of the X actually gets more narrow the taller it gets, and it gets very wide the lower it gets. Our stand, again, the width remains the same. Let's just talk about getting on and off the bandstand quick. You finished up the gig and you want to get on and off. You know X-Brace stands work very well in that manner in that they're easy to set up and easy to tear down. Well, we do the same thing. You'll find that this stand is very easy to tear down, very easy to set up. I'm just tearing it down right now and getting it ready to get off the bandstand and get on home. So this is it. All packed up, it's actually shorter than a standard X-Brace stand. It's equally as portable and it's very lightweight. The center section is all aluminum and the arms and legs are steel. Everything is very, very simple in its design, yet its thought process and how it all sets up and works together is one of those things that people say, why didn't we think of that before? Now let's set it up and get it ready for playing. I've turned it around for a reason. I want you to see that we have big carriage bolts and really large T-nuts to do all of your setup. I'm going to set up the legs first by loosening up the T-nuts and just pulling the legs out and fully extending them. Now remember, this width is always going to re remain the same. Now if I want to adjust the height, all I do is lift up on the center section or pull down on the legs themselves, the leg assembly, and you can see that whole adjustment just moves the gamut. So I'm going to just set it up maybe for a sitting position right now. And so I'll leave the legs set there and then I'll come around to my arms, loosen those up, and just bring the arms up to where I think it's going to work out. Now if I was sitting down, I'd sit down, put my keyboard on here, and try it out and say, oh, I like that, or if I want, well, I actually do that. I'll put my keyboard on here. Let's see, if I was sitting down, that feels maybe a little too tall, so I'll take it off. Dial that in, try it again. I like that. This, I think, is going to work just right. So now, you might have noticed on the back here, we actually have hash marks. So you can remember where you've set it up in your sitting position. So, or if you want to use a uh, marker or something like that, you could actually mark that position. Now most players will play in two different positions, sitting and then standing. Well, this was a big keyboard, and if it was one of those big weighted action keyboards that was a lot of weight and everything else, you'd want to have a lot of stability. Notice I didn't even tighten these up and I was putting the keyboard on and off. You still have a lot of stability here. If I want to put this all the way to the top so I can stand and play, and you can see this will go as tall as any X-Brace stand. Now we've got this very nice and tall. and I can easily play standing up. What's beautiful about this stand is my width didn't change a bit. So if you've got that big 88 note weighted action keyboard and you want to play standing up, you don't have to worry about instability issue. You don't have to worry about a really complicated stand to set up and dial in just where you want it set up. And you notice again, I left everything loose. Another neat feature on this stand, and I'll just tighten these up and spin this around. A neat feature too is both on the arm and on the legs, we have an elliptical bumper. So when I turn this bumper around, it actually will get a little taller. So if you have an unlevel surface that you're playing on, you can actually dial those in so you can take that and make it a nice level playing surface. 
This will handle about 200 pounds on top of it, so it works fantastic, like I said, for DJ coffins. And the stand sets up, tears down, very, very simple. I think it's pretty intuitive on the way it sets up and tears down, so it's not hard to figure out. And this is going to be a really nice, simple stand that a lot of people are going to be using for large keyboards as well as small keyboards. So this is the KB7700K from Hamilton Stands, and you can find this at fullcompass.com if you want to know more about it. And you can also call up your sales professional at Full Compass.